Welcome back to the, uh, the last segment of the ILFL Soccer Night show. Um, Jermaine, welcome back again to the show. Thank you. And on my left hand side, I've got Asmol Ali um, joining us. Uh, who will be providing his expert analysis on the, uh, on the games that took place last week as well. Um, Jermaine, just touching base on the Interleague Champions Cup. Um, I know there's a lot of teams who've missed out on this competition. Um, a lot of teams that showed interest. I mean, how do you see this league spanning out in the next season? I mean, do you see more teams getting interested or would want to fight for it? I do. Um, and I know a lot of people look at the Hackney Lane teams I've had, you know, I think all of them are strong. Some of the new ones I put in was, was just shocked <laughs> who they were playing against. Mm -hmm. Ace was a big surprise. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they, they knocked out of our clubs like, I think it was 8 1, you know. And well. I just think that the club. Uh, the clubs that enter this competition are going to be talking about it a lot and I just think that um, it's something that's going to be enjoyed and I think it's something that um, you're going to see the best out of these clubs that play in this competition and I'm hoping that there won't be any uh, clubs that you know turn up with, uh, without, without players and that, that can be very annoying mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that there's going to be the consistency of the, you know, the good players turning up and um, making a game uh, each round. Okay, brilliant. Now, if I can show you uh, on my screen the ILFL Premier Division as it stands at the moment, um, this is our senior football by the way, um, we've got Ace sitting quite comfortably at the top on 34 points, um, Bowman right behind them um, on the same points, but uh, Ace got a, a game in hand. Um, right at the bottom we've got Hawk and Eagle and London Tigers. Asmo. Yep. Now, this is Hawk and Eagles' first season in the Premier Division side. Um, mm -hmm. We've been talking to uh, Redcourt earlier on about um, them being promoted and they'll be playing in the, uh, in the Premier side um, upcoming winter. Now, would you like to share some experience with Redcourt? Um, how did it pan out for you? Um, we can see that you're just about hanging on, um, but probably afraid. avoided a relegation, but anyway. Yeah, so um, in terms of the actual Premiership um, t League, it's very tough. You don't have any easy matches, mm -hmm. um, whether you're playing the bottom team or whether you're playing a mid team. Um, and the season is quite long. It's very intense as well. The quality of football as well is much better than, for example, First Division, which you expect. But it's like um, there's a massive gap between the actual two divisions, you will notice that. So it's, you do have to have a lot of fit, fitness as well in terms of the teams as well. So mm -hmm. that will count. You do have to have quality as well. In the first division, second division, sometimes you can get away with saying, for example, an experienced side rather than actually you have to have some match, win match winners on their day. So it's a mixture of fitness, quality players, consistency of players. I know you were saying as well, Carl, so about mm -hmm. having a regular team week in, week out you have to have consistent players as well, week in, week out. Wow, so there you have it. Um, consistency, um, skills, stamina, uh, quality. Yep. Um, what, about, what about the physicality of that league? I mean, how would you compare it against the Premier and then the First Division? Oh. Would you say it's much more physical or less, or is it more skills? <laughs> physical, I mean, yes, you do get your sort of like nice crunchy challenge and there is some kind of intensity in terms of those battles as well. But I think, um, especially when, when I look, when I watch, say, for example, the top four, top five teams, I would say there's more skill and quality of football. I, I was going to say that because I do referee some games and, mm. um, and, and, and I do sort of different divisions. And what I notice is that when you're referring some top teams, it's very clean, you know, it's a lot of skills and there's no sort of hard challenges. Yeah. Mm. Is, that what you, is that what you're expecting as well, um, Kausa? Yeah, I think so. Um, in our league, Would example, you say your, your, your team is more physical or more skills or more determination? Um, I think it's a bit of, bit of both, actually. I mean, it depends on the style of play we play as well. Because each week, you tend to face different opponents and you have to prepare differently as well. Because some teams are more physical. Some teams are more skillful, so you have to adjust as a team. That's where the preparation comes in beforehand. Hussain, you're a central midfielder, right? Yeah. Um, you're about six foot six. Okay, I used to be six, by the way. <laughs> um, I mean, I've lost about, uh, about an inch or so, but anyway. <laughs> um, how did he find the first division in the whole season? Um, um, the whole season, I've 
like, like you Overall, said. Overall, as a summary, and how, how would you summarise the whole season for you? For me... As a central midfielder, how would you summarise it? Uh, for me, I just take it, no offence, like, I just take it as it comes. It's just, it's like, basically, I play, obviously, on other days and Sundays. For me, it's just extra fitness, no offence to no opponents out there. I just like to just battle against the best players as, as good as they can get. But no offence, the level on Saturdays and the level on Sundays is two different levels for me. So for me, I just turn up and I just, <laughs> I just so do my thing. So you'd say overall it was a really good season for you? It was a really good season for me. Obviously, I didn't, I didn't really play as much games as I should have played um, due to suspensions and stuff like that, you know. But, but the you games I did play... You consider yourself right at the top of the pecking order. <laughs> Would you agree, <laughs> Kelsa? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate that you've got a bunch of players, so if we're saying this, uh, get, get him, get him <laughs> week in, week out, so yeah, you must be telling the truth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm, I'm really looking forward to actually Red Card in, in Premier Division because I've seen him play a couple of times and one thing I did, I know you've you got a brother who plays yeah, up front, up who's front, like yeah. a rock up front as well, <laughs> very good solid player, but the thing I like about Red Card as well is um, they, they could pass it, they could play good football as well as they've got the physicality as well, so I like that combination. I would predict they'll be easily in the top four, top, you know, top four, top five, definitely. You reckon? I reckon. <laughs> um, Don't let no. me down, boys. <laughs> and uh, and at the beginning of the season, um, we had Hawk and Eagle representatives on this show, and we were talking about um, ambitions and aspirations, and I think we were looking at a top three or a top four. Now, not don't want to take anything away from Hawk and Eagle. Mm -hmm. um, clearly, you have been struggling all season, and is it time that you guys might want to make some huge changes or do you think that you've understood what the Premier <coughs> Division is all about? You, un you know what your weaknesses are well, and you know what it, it now, having played what, 16 games in the Premier Division, you know what it takes to succeed? Well, um, a couple of things you have to factor in. This is my first season as a manager um, in the Premiership. So to be fun, you know, as a manager in a Premiership, it's very tough to understand you know, how he actually runs, so taking over that. That's first of all. Second of all, I think we had a better second half of the season as opposed to the first half. First half, I was still getting to know the players, trying to understand where it's all like the formula, where to play players and things like that. So, pardon me, in hindsight, if the league was a bit longer, so if the season was a bit longer, maybe I could have actually worked a bit better. Now I have to look at the last game and try to, it's, it's all about survival now, so um, there, there's a lot of factors, I've, I've, I've learned a lot, so um, there's a lot of factors to cater for our position while we're there, but I think in terms of, yeah, it's, it, it's a tough call, it's, it's a very tough league, so it's really going to be tough, especially for an inexperienced manager, I would say. Okay, now if I can show on the screen um, the first division standings, um, we've wrapped up the first division, um, there's no more games left, um, lucky for some. Um, Red Coat finishing right at the top convincingly, um, East Spirit right behind them and Arsenal on, um, on third place and they did, I think they had a really, really good season, um, Arsenal. Uh, right at the bottom we have Burdett and Stepney B. Now Burdett always is a survivor in the, in the division. They always stay in the first division. I've known them to be in the first division um, since I've ever been involved in IFL, <laughs> and they'll probably remain there long after I'm gone anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, um, some of the other projects that IFL are getting involved um, that we're delivering, um, we're looking at a Super Cup um, taking place on the 16th of April. Mm -hmm. Now, what can you tell us about this? I mean, is Hawk and Eagle first of all participating? Yep, we'll be we'll, we'll be participating in the, um, the, the, the Super Cup. Um, it's a great day out. So, um, in terms of that, it's it's a really good fun um, get to know, and you also you could actually try players as well. So it's it's, it's a good way of actually say, for example, you're getting new players, bond them in, see how they're you know capable of, and I think that's for that, that's for all the teams actually in terms of that. So. Okay, yeah. Jermaine, you've seen some of our Super Cup games before? Yeah, it pops over. Okay, um, do you think any of the hacking teams might want to be involved in that? Um, do you think if they did get involved, um, they would be able to compete? Because we're talking about some heavyweights in that um, it tournament. It would be a bit hard because our season's still full yeah, swing. We've had a very long season, yeah, you? We're going into May. So, so um, if you've seen the games, mm -hmm. I mean, 
What's your take on that uh, in terms of the quality? Well, I mean, uh, my take on it is everyone uh, enjoys it. Um, being there. There's, there's no silliness going on. People just come in, enjoy themselves, play football. Um, I think the, the atmosphere is really nice, and I think it's something from what I've, I remember of it is, is something that gets bigger each year. And like I said, I've always gone over there because I think you play from morning to afternoons, don't you? Yeah, we so do, we yeah. tend to go over into the afternoons, and um, and I think it's good for referees as well because I think you know I think you put assistant referees in some of the games. Yes, yes. Um, from this season or actually this yeah. uh, year, we will have three officials uh, for yeah. all the games. Uh, I think not, not just we missed the finals. We missed the referees. I think <laughs> yeah. during the group stage, uh, we yeah. thought yeah, yeah. We, we will do about the uh, the assistants, yeah. but yeah. Uh, yeah. but. You know, we take all the feedback from the teams. Um, yeah. We talk to all the teams. We mm -hmm. sort of engage with them um, constantly. And one of the feedbacks that we got from the teams was that um, we needed the liners, and um, without the liners or the absence of liners, yeah. makes it really difficult for the um, yeah. Yeah, for yeah, the yeah, referee to make the decisions. And especially on a competition like this, um, it really does help, doesn't it? It does. And I think the games are short, aren't they? Yeah. Game so it's, it's, a lot shorter, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit like 2020 cricket. <laughs> ain't got time to defend. It's <laughs> well, <laughs> sc scoring one goal yeah, and trying to hold like on I've to seen it. Just people just just in camped in goal areas mm. at both ends. There's, yeah. there's no middle bit. Just get the ball in that goal area. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Okay. We we also have the uh, the Legends Cup. Yep. Now the Legends Cup is uh, for for the over 35s only. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Jermaine, you still don't qualify for that. But anyway, maybe <laughs> the number yes. <laughs> um, this will also be delivered um, end of April. Um, hopefully, uh, we're looking at 16 teams to participate um, in this year's tournament, and we're also expecting to provide three times official as well. So that's going to be a, a really good tournament to uh, to participate as well. Now I understand that Hawke and Eagle is also. Participating uh, yep. in that, I, I feel we'll now that we've had we've got uh, two veterans teams participating in the I Level and Solo Lotted League, mm. do you think that Hawke and Eagle might be a little bit more successful than they were last season? I was just about to say last season we had a bit of a nightmare. I think we lost pretty much every game, other than one possibly. But um, compared to, well, this season I'm looking forward to it because two teams are now Hawke and Eagle. They've got some game fitness. They're, they're very excited as well, so they're looking forward to it, and I think we should actually surprise maybe one or two teams. I think so. I've, I've noticed quite a few changes anyway. Anyway, um, this Sunday we don't have any senior football. Um, unfortunately, all of the, the games have to be rescheduled for uh, another day. This is because um, we had to uh, make some changes to accommodate the, uh, the Mayor's Cup Finals. Um, so there won't be any sort of uh, senior footballing this Sunday. Uh, but this Thursday, um, if you're close by at Mabler Green, um, if you can get there, you'll see uh, 24 teams battling it out again back into a normal uh, league. Um, this is all we have time for, I'm afraid, this evening. Um, I just want to say thank you to um, Jermaine and Hussein on my right, um, Asmo and Kaisal on my left. And um, we hope to see you next week. See ya. <laughs>